deep in the shadows I know it's hard to put one foot in front of the other ah. hi guys see Chronicles here welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel I post fragrance related content on this platform and would very much appreciate it if you did consider subscribing that is if you like fragrance content now to those who are already subscribed thank you so much guys for the continued support welcome to a fragrance review video I have a Pandora with me here and uh, when I saw this Casella Noir I had a green on my face because I knew exactly what this fragrance was going to be about and I do believe maybe this is a new release unless maybe shipping got it to my country late I've just recently seen this all right so this is Casella Noir this is a close-up leaves nothing to the imagination guys as to what they were going for right so I'm gonna spray this fragrance in its box as well as on my skin uh, because I am already wearing this fragrance guys the fragrance of the day so I'm gonna be alternating from smelling it in the box as well as on my skin but I know how it vibes I like the DNA uh, because I have smelled what you know it is inspired by and i actually like the that. top of this fragrance guys is going to be citrusy they do expect a lot of citruses at the top uh but let it not worry you if you're not into fresh citrusy fragrances because that is not what it becomes about okay the citruses make a burst there right there in the opening but the florals quickly assert themselves in the mid and then there is a nectarous pitch that also adds into that mid uh, so that vibe of the fresh crisp citruses is not what you're going to get you're going to get a fruity top there because as soon as that peach comes in you know that nectarous feel it kind of overrides that crispness of the citruses making this a fruity floral and there were florals to expect guys from this are going to be that rose the geranium the narcissus as well as the jasmine but the ones that are actually prominent are going to be a distinct rose weighing in there is maybe a little bit green but sweet and a moistened feel of an assistant so there's going to be a floral here that feels kind of damp or you know like moistened if you know what i mean i mean moist is moist so that is how the narcissus is vibing here and then the juice itself becomes a rich lush thickened juice befitting of a juice that you would bottle in a black bottle uh you know because sometimes when you get a fragrance in a black bottle it doesn't really match in terms of how it's interpreting to the nose now this gives me a cooler weather you know uh appropriate style of fragrance a nighttime appropriate style of fragrance although you can wear it you know all year round i'm just saying uh the rich and the lushness of this is very evident uh in how the notes are fused to an extent that you can tell that you know this is one that can be pulled off even in cooler weather and it will hold its own. The DNA, of course, draws its inspiration for that, from that uh, Chanel Coco Noir, right? Just based on the appearance. Uh, but uh, please do take note that there's two versions to that fragrance. There is an extrait and there is a parfum. I think they were going for the perform when they were when they did this one right because it does present that dna but it's not as loud to call it an extrait if you know what i mean right mm -hmm. having said that uh i don't think they were going for the extrait i'm going to say it also it does feel like a not really lighter interpretation per se of the real thing but it does it's not really a contender in terms of let's say the heightenedness of the interpretation of the real thing right it is a fragrance in its own right i'm going to give it its flowers very long lasting there okay long lasting style of a fragrance rich thick all those all that nice stuff interpret interprets the dna to the t however it just feels as though it's almost like a more versatile more versatile um presentation of that dna because that actual dna can be a little bit mature there for some right? it does give me a dna that is unisex safe for both genders because it does not end with just the florals and the fruit there's going to be an inclusion of a tonka there uh, in the mix and the tonka here is a sweet 
tonka that mixes with a vanilla and the vanilla also adds to that sweetness and there is a wrap up of warm spices in this fragrance and a touch of wood so safe enough for both genders to use can transition through all seasons but as i said has some depth to an extent that you can wear this in cooler weather it's definitely a steal for the price i mean if you're looking for a uh, dna of this nature at an affordable price then i'm gonna say certainly not going to disappoint um but i have to be honest with you guys on skin it disappears faster than it does on the clothing on my skin i got a fragrance that after it's prominent in about two hours it's quite prominent around that time i can still smell it vividly after that you know three hours in there it then becomes like very faint there but does a little bit better when it comes to the clothing to an extent of maybe pushing through to even the five six hour mark somewhere thereabouts still fairly new so could possibly get better with time because it does give me that vibe of a dna that is very thickened there and by thickened dna i'm going to say it's in the same style as you know the noir de noir style of thickened feel not that it's a noir de noir uh, uh you know smell alike i'm just saying it is a rich presentation of a dna there's nothing light about this fragrance guys in as much as there is of course yes a little bit of that wool, the wafts of the freshness that you get there in the opening remember it then becomes about a rich rose that's what you're going to smell the most jasmine yes but it's a rich rose and a motion feel of the necessus and then the warm spices as the cherry on top also giving it a little bit of a staying power there with a little bit of a mature tone not as mature as a real thing not as mature as a real thing if you've used the real thing you will know that that one can borderline be one that i would say oh you you know make sure you don't buy it for a very young person this one has got that like a crowd pleasing appeal to it where i wouldn't really call Call it absolutely mature you can even take a chance on purchasing this one let's say maybe for somebody who is 18 or 15 or something like that they could possibly pull off the this dna very enjoyable nice yummy sweet wrap up of a fragrance sweet wrap up of everything right and uh quite adaptable say for instance you don't like it in the beginning it is a fragrance that you're most likely going to find yourself drawn to so that is what i can say guys about pandora scents uh off the house of paris corner and this one is called Cass Cella Noa, a uh, very nice addition to my collection. I'm enjoying this fragrance. Easy reach for me, uh, based on my age. It's very easy reach, and I can absolutely, uh, you know, recommend this. Let me know in the comment section if you've come across it, if you've used the real thing, if you think it's a DNA that uh, was well needed. Just let me know in the comment section. I would love to know your thoughts. If you have used it, if you have tried it, if you have a sample of it or anything like that, let me know in the comment section, and we can interact some more. Z Chronicles is my name. Thank you so much for joining me today do turn on post notifications guys that way you get to be notified anytime i upload a video like and share this one and remember guys that smelling good is a form of good manners cheers